Many of us grew up with the idea that the Earth revolves around the Sun, which in turn remains motionless at the center of the universe, a perfect image conveying calm and cosmic stability. But the reality is much more complex and fascinating than that. When we broaden our view, we realize that the Earth isn't just a planet orbiting a star. It's part of an entire solar system that never stops, traveling around the Sun at an absurd speed, something close to 107,000 kilometers per hour. And that's not all. Along with the Sun and the other planets, the Earth embarks on a true space adventure, crossing the Milky Way galaxy at approximately 220 kilometers per second. It's as if we were on a cosmic bullet train, traveling through the universe at millions of kilometers per hour, with no scheduled stop. To better understand this idea of movement, imagine you are comfortably seated on a plane, flying at a constant speed. Inside, everything seems calm, stable, stationary. You don't even feel like you're moving, let alone imagine the breakneck speed at which you are traveling. Now, think from the point of view of someone down below, watching from the ground. To that person, the plane passes by too quickly, tracing a line in the sky. The perspective changes completely and reveals the true nature of movement. This incredible idea was brilliantly explained by the great Galileo Galilei in his famous book, Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems, back in 1632. It's what we now call Galilean relativity, or Galilean invariance. Basically, Galileo showed that there is no absolute point of reference for movement. Each observer perceives reality differently, and the choice of the best reference point will always depend on the situation. On our journey through space aboard the Earth, understanding Galilean relativity is essential to grasp where we are in the universe. Each star, each galaxy, each celestial body offers us a unique perspective on our movement, highlighting the impressive size and beauty of the cosmos. But, the Earth's movement through the galaxy isn't just a scientific curiosity. In fact, it can profoundly impact life on our planet. There are very interesting hypotheses suggesting that the Earth's interaction with cosmic rays from different areas of the Milky Way may have shaped the evolution of life, and even contributed to major mass extinction events. Furthermore, changes in the Earth's orbit around the Sun, which occur in cycles of thousands of years, can cause very significant climate changes. It is because of them that our planet has already gone through several ice ages, and may go through others in the future. By understanding how our planet travels through the universe, we can unlock incredible secrets about the formation of our galaxy, the origin of life, and even better predict the future of the Earth. Remember that feeling on the plane, when you don't even realize you're traveling fast? Well, that's exactly what happens with the Earth in relation to our solar system. From the inside, we get the impression that everything revolves stably and organized around the Sun. But the truth is that within our solar system, the Earth performs a much more complex movement than we think. It revolves around the Sun in an elliptical orbit, not a perfect circle. This cosmic dance, full of small adjustments and subtle movements, takes exactly one Earth year to complete. During its orbit around the Sun, there are times when the Earth gets closer to it, reaching approximately 147 million kilometers. This point is called perihelion. At other times, the distance increases to about 152 million kilometers, which we call aphelion. These two points in the Earth's orbit have regular dates throughout the year. Generally, the Earth reaches perihelion around January 3rd, while aphelion occurs around July 4th. This variation is evident when we observe the seasonal cycle and climate variation. But the Earth's dance through space isn't limited to its annual path. Our planet rotates on an axis that is tilted relative to its orbital plane, and this tilt isn't fixed. It oscillates between 22 and 24.5 degrees, in cycles that last just over 41,000 years. This variation, known as the obliquity of the ecliptic, changes the way the Sun illuminates the Earth's surface, influencing the duration of days and nights in different regions and times. These complex cycles, combined with other astronomical changes, such as the precession of the equinoxes and variations in the Earth's orbital eccentricity, form what we call Milankovitch cycles. These cycles were named after the Serbian geophysicist Milutin Milankovic, who was the first to describe how these movements can influence the Earth's climate, causing alternating periods of intense glacial ages and warmer periods, interglacials, over millions of years. Based on these analyses, scientists predict that in the relatively distant future, something on the order of tens of thousands of years, 
the Earth may enter a new ice age. But there is a very important and current point we need to consider. Currently, human actions and the rampant emission of greenhouse gases are causing intense global warming. This anthropogenic phenomenon, created by man himself, is, for now, cancelling out or greatly reducing the natural effects of the Milankovitch cycles. This makes it very difficult to predict exactly when and how the next ice age will occur, as the Earth's natural climate balance is being strongly modified. Now, if you found the Earth's movement within the solar system fascinating, wait until you learn more about our planet's journey through the galaxy. The Milky Way, our galactic home, is an immense system formed by billions of stars, gases, and dust, with a colossal diameter of over 100,000 light years. It's something hard to even imagine. One of the most interesting aspects of the Milky Way is its rotational movement. It spins like a huge cosmic pinwheel, with its spiral arms extending for thousands of light years, while everything revolves around the galactic center. This rotation causes stars, gas, and dust to make circular orbits around the galactic nucleus. Our solar system, with the Sun and its planets, is positioned in one of these spiral arms, approximately 25,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Here in our solar system, the Sun dominates gravitationally, guiding the movement of all the planets. But in the Milky Way, the scenario is very different. There isn't a single dominant object at the center. Instead, everything revolves thanks to the combined gravitational influence of billions of stars and other elements scattered throughout the galaxy. All this complicated dynamic makes studying the movement of celestial bodies through the galaxy a real challenge for scientists. But, at the same time, it's extremely rewarding, as it reveals precious secrets about how our galaxy, the Milky Way, works and is structured. Just as the Earth orbits the Sun, our dear Sun also takes a great journey, orbiting the center of the Milky Way at a speed of about 230 kilometers per second. This epic journey takes our solar system through different regions of the galaxy, exposing us to varied cosmic environments. To complete a full circle around the galactic center, the Sun takes about 230 million years. During this long journey, our system passes through regions of the Milky Way, with completely different characteristics and influences. Determining the exact speed at which the Sun moves relative to the galactic center is not easy. Astronomers need to use advanced and creative techniques to achieve this. One of the most common approaches is to analyze young stars, which still remain close to the regions where they were born. By observing how these stars move in relation to the Sun, scientists can accurately measure the speed and direction of our own stellar system. With this technique, we discovered that the Sun travels around the center of the galaxy at approximately 220 kilometers per second, taking about 225 million years to complete an entire orbit. But, this journey is not simple. It is formed by three main components which happen simultaneously. Radial movement. The Sun moves slightly towards the galactic center, at a speed of about 8 kilometers per second. Tangential movement. It also moves around the galactic nucleus, at an approximate speed of 5 kilometers per second. Vertical movement. The Sun also performs an up-and-down motion relative to the galactic plane, with a speed of approximately 7 kilometers per second. Although these values seem small, when multiplied by millions of years, they generate gigantic distances. This combination of movements is known as the Sun's peculiar motion, and it directly affects the trajectory of our solar system over time. Another important point is that the Sun's orbit around the Milky Way is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse. This means that the distance between the Sun and the galactic center varies considerably throughout its orbit. When it is closer to the center, the Sun is approximately 25,000 light years away, at its farthest point, this distance increases to about 28,000 light years. This variation, added to the Sun's peculiar motion, creates a very complex trajectory, taking our solar system up and down the galactic plane in continuous movements. To give you an idea, every 60 million years, the Sun completes a vertical oscillation, rising and falling relative to the galactic plane, much like a cosmic roller coaster. These movements are mainly influenced by the gravitational pull of neighboring stars, huge gas clouds, and of course, the mysterious dark matter that fills our galaxy. At this very moment, we are about 20 light years above the plane of the Milky Way. In a few million years, we will reach a maximum peak, rising approximately 300 light years above the center of the galactic disk. After that, we will begin our descent again. And look how interesting. 
This vertical oscillation of the sun is not just an astronomical curiosity. Some researchers suggest that it may have profoundly influenced the history of life on Earth. According to the so-called Shiva hypothesis, proposed by certain astronomers, this vertical movement may be linked to periods of mass extinctions that occurred on our planet over millions of years. The center of the Milky Way is a super hectic, dense, and dangerous region, full of concentrated stars and immersed in a sea of radiation. According to the Shiva hypothesis, every time our solar system approaches this region during its galactic rise and fall, the Earth would become more vulnerable to this intense radiation and other cosmic dangers, potentially causing mass extinctions here on the planet. Although this hypothesis still causes much discussion among scientists and needs further study, it makes us think about how the Sun's peculiar motion could have profoundly influenced the history of life on Earth. Another fascinating mystery that intrigues astronomers is the movement of the Milky Way's spiral arms. These arms resemble a large disk, spinning slowly through space, forming beautiful spiral patterns. And why do these arms move like this? Well, scientists have some interesting theories about it. The gravity of other galaxies. Our Milky Way is not alone in the universe. It is part of the so-called local group, where there are several other nearby galaxies. The gravitational pull of these neighboring galaxies can directly influence the movement of the spiral arms. Density waves. Another curious theory proposes that density waves travel through the galactic disk like small ripples spreading in a pond. These waves compress and expand the gas, dust, and stars, changing the shape and movement of the galaxy's spiral arms. Scientists are still investigating how these movements of the spiral arms directly affect the Earth. It is believed that when our planet passes through denser regions of these arms, we may be exposed to a greater amount of cosmic rays and high-energy particles. This, in turn, could impact our climate, alter atmospheric chemistry, and even influence the evolution of life on the planet. But it's not just the solar system that is in this constant cosmic dance. All the stars in the galaxy are in motion, each undertaking its own journey through space. Although we cannot notice this movement with the naked eye, it is crucial for understanding how our galaxy truly works. The movement of stars is called proper motion, and it is nothing more than the apparent change in a star's position in the sky over time. This apparent change happens precisely because of the star's real movement through space relative to the sun. The proper motion of stars is measured in a very small unit called arc seconds per year. Although this unit represents a tiny angle, it is extremely useful for astronomers, as it allows them to track the movement of stars and accurately map their positions over the years. By studying these proper motions, astronomers can do impressive things, such as determining the distances of stars, by comparing proper motion with parallax, which is the apparent change in the position of stars due to the Earth's orbit, they can calculate the exact distance to each star. This technique is fundamental for building a detailed 3D map of the Milky Way. Understanding the galaxy's history, the way stars move provides us with precious clues about how our galaxy was formed and how it has evolved over time. Analyzing these orbits and speeds, it is possible to reconstruct important past events and even predict the future of the Milky Way. Identifying binary systems. When two stars orbit each other, their proper motions reveal this joint dance. This information is very valuable for studying how these stellar systems form and evolve over time. The Earth's movement around the Sun directly influences our perception of the night sky. As our planet changes its position in its orbit, the closest stars appear to move relative to the more distant stars. This phenomenon is called annual parallax. Annual parallax is especially evident for nearby stars, as the change in the Earth's perspective relative to them is much more significant. With detailed measurements of this apparent displacement of the stars, astronomers can accurately calculate the distance to these celestial bodies. But it's not just parallax that messes with our sky. The proper motion of stars also slowly transforms what we see up there. Over thousands or even millions of years, the constellations we know today will change, taking on new shapes. This serves as a great reminder that the universe is never still and is always evolving, continuously revealing its fascinating dynamics. And look how interesting. Our cosmic journey is not restricted just to the Milky Way. In fact, our galaxy, like a large ship sailing on the high seas, is always moving through space, interacting with other galaxies, and participating in a monumental gravitational dance. One of the most fascinating encounters on this journey is with Andromeda, our closest neighboring galaxy. 
Right now, the Milky Way and Andromeda are approaching each other at a speed of about 110 kilometers per second, and scientists already predict an epic collision approximately 4 billion years from now. This cosmic collision will be an impressive spectacle, creating a new giant galaxy. The stars, gas, and dust from the two galaxies will mix, forming a celestial scene of incredible proportions. But wait, our journey doesn't stop there. The Milky Way is part of a group of more than 50 galaxies, known as the Local Group, which, besides Andromeda, also includes the Triangulum Galaxy and other smaller galaxies. And this entire group is being attracted by an even larger and more mysterious object, called the Great Attractor. This cluster of galaxies has a gigantic mass, hundreds of thousands of times the mass of our Milky Way, and exerts a powerful gravitational pull, pulling the entire local group at an impressive speed of approximately 600 kilometers per second. The Great Attractor is a true cosmic giant, and astronomers are still trying to unravel all the secrets behind this massive structure. But the movement doesn't end there. Behind this galactic dance, there is an even deeper and more intriguing force that governs the universe, cosmic expansion. Space itself is increasing in size at an ever faster rate, driven by the mysterious dark energy. Even with all this crazy movement happening, we can still determine our speed relative to the rest of the universe using a very special reference, the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation is nothing more than the residual heat left over from the Big Bang, and it is spread uniformly throughout the universe, being practically the same in all directions. By measuring small variations in this radiation, scientists discovered something incredible. The Earth, along with the entire solar system, is moving through the universe at a speed of about 370 kilometers per second, relative to this cosmic radiation. By now, it's clear to everyone that our planet is far from being stationary in space. In fact, we are just a small, but very special piece, in a huge and fascinating system of cosmic movements that doesn't stop for a second. This incredible and complex cosmic dance in which the Earth is involved is a grandiose spectacle that happens at different levels and scales, making it clear how we are part of something much larger than we can imagine. First, our planet graciously revolves around the Sun, completing one orbit each year. This rotation, driven by the Sun's gravitational force, is fundamental for life on Earth, creating, for example, the cycles of day and night. The solar system, in turn, also moves through space, traveling a spiral path through the Milky Way, our home galaxy. This journey happens at a dizzying speed of about 220 kilometers per second driven by the powerful gravitational pull of neighboring stars, giant gas clouds, and the mysterious dark matter that fills our galaxy. The Milky Way isn't sailing through the universe alone, either. It is part of a large galactic condominium, called the Local Group, composed of more than 50 galaxies. Together, these galaxies form a true cosmic community, connected by the force of gravity, like a flock of migratory birds flying together, the galaxies of the local group are traveling towards a gigantic and still mysterious structure known as the Great Attractor. And while all these elements, the Earth, the Solar System, the local group, and the Great Attractor, perform their own cosmic dances, there is an even deeper force governing the entire universe, the expansion of space. The fabric of the cosmos is continuously expanding, accelerated by an enigmatic energy we call dark energy. Yes, we are just a tiny speck of dust in the infinite vastness of the cosmos. But every small movement of the Earth is a crucial piece in this fascinating puzzle that is the universe. After all, understanding these movements means understanding a little more about our place on this immense cosmic stage. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your opinion in the comments, and activate the bell to receive notifications of our next content. That's all for today. See you in the next video. And remember... Knowledge is an investment with inexhaustible returns.